Coming up, a union president believes the recent sale of Power Secure bodes well for the new Bahamas Power and Light Company. And hundreds bid farewell to Mar Ruby in Harbor Island. So don't you move. The Bahamas Tonight, the weekend edition, starts now. Now in HD. Network presents The Bahamas Tonight. This portion of the news brought to you by BTC Everyday. Good evening, everyone. I'm LaDawn Davis. Thanks so much for tuning in. Topping the news tonight, President of the Bahamas Electrical Workers Union, Paul Maynard, reacting to the recent sale of Power Secure, the new managers of the former Bahamas Electricity Corporation. Online News reported last week that Southern Company, an investor-owned electric utility base in Atlanta, would pay $431 million to buy Power Secure, calling it the most successful distributed energy company in the United States. Maynard telling ZNS News that he sees the move as one that will yield positive results for the newly formed Bahamas Power and Light. It's a stroke of genius, really. Um, Southern Electric is a multi-billion dollar company, which which puts Power Secure in a better position to get B, um, BPL better deals. You know, it's imperative that um, we get uh, modern equipment to uh, complement our growth. And so, you know, it's, it's, we need to go. We need to get American equipment now, as opposed to the ancient European equipment in the Caribbean. And it stands the reason that Power Secure has a foothold in the Caribbean now. So this is their first step. Um, Southern Electric, they wanted to get in the Caribbean for a long time. So it stands the reason they would have, they would have gobbled them up. It's a much-needed defense to protect homes and businesses in low-lying communities from sea surges, especially during hurricanes. However, multiple storms have left seawalls in San Salvador destroyed and in dire need of replacement and repair. Minister of Works Philip Davis has committed to ensuring that the work is completed in a reasonable time. He toured the ongoing construction this past Thursday. Janea Noel Ferguson reports. The sea walls and roads at Hull's Landing, Bonefish Bay, and Pigeon Creek in San Salvador were destroyed during Hurricane Joaquin. And with another hurricane season just months away, rebuilding is quickly taking shape to ensure that communities are spared from sea surges. Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Work Philip Davis inspected work on Thursday that is steadily progressing. He noted that several options are being considered as climate change has forced government to seek new building and engineering strategies for low-lying coastal communities. Again, you know, this is all evidence of, of what, has be, what the world has now become sensitive to climate change that is causing um, the high the sea, sea level rises. And of course, with that comes the surges. Very extremely ex expensive exercise to repeat um, what you see here mm -hmm. uh, along the coast of all the islands of, of the of all the islands of the Bahamas. That would require uh, protection from sea levels and surges. Contractor Mark Knowles and Ezra Russell, responsible for the work, estimated to take between four to six weeks for each area. The areas that are being corroded. It's where people live in the community. And it's a hazard. We're here now for two months, and we already completed some some 1,380 feet of seawall. No challenges. It's, it's nothing so challenging that Marlin Enterprise can't take care of. At the peak of construction, 12 to 15 persons are employed for the project, all from San Salvador and Kid Island. The Deputy Prime Minister said each seawall is estimated to cost about $300,000, and so far he has been satisfied with the work. I think this took about four, four to five weeks. Um, the, you can see the, the, the workmanship of which I'm pleased, and that's why I'm here, just to, to satisfy myself of the reports that I've gotten about the works here. And I'm happy and congratulate the works that you see here. Janae Noel Ferguson, ZNES Network News. 
Her name was Nola Ruby Hannah Presenti, but most knew her as Ma Ruby, the force behind Tingham Village on Harbor Island. She had eight children of her own, but many more benefited from her nurturing qualities. Hundreds flocked to the St. John's Anglican Church on Harbor Island to honor her and say goodbye. Julian Reed reports. Ma Ruby was a go-getter. Despite losing her husband in 1979 and one of her eight children, she not only provided for and educated her family, but became an entrepreneur, inspired her community, and just about everyone she came in contact with. Tourism Minister Obi Wilshkamp said she made you feel special. She was the anchor, the social, the economic, and political anchor of this island. She caused many to believe in themselves, and she caused us as an organization, a political organization, to be able to serve as leaders of this country. Her commitment is phenomenal. She set the pace for women on Harbor Island and influenced others around the country. Prime Minister Perry Christie said that second homeowners knew that Brylanders like Ma Ruby could be trusted with their assets. The Prime Minister said that Tingham Village became the beacon of all she represented, adding that it competed with much bigger properties, allowing her to be seen as successful against all odds. This is how he described her. A mighty woman who have joined those other women in our history who have created a platform for the heavy women to stand upon. Who demonstrated that you didn't have to fight for equality for her. But her existence represented an attitude that she was equal in every respect. Rector of St. John's Anglican Church, Father Kirkland Russell, compared Ma Ruby's life to the biblical story of Elijah and the widow at Zarephath. He highlighted three of Ma Ruby's qualities. First, being hospitable. Secondly, having faith. Father Russell used this point to tell Bahamians to get back to God. You can blame the courts, you can blame the schools, you can blame the churches and the pastors. But until the Hagans start doing these things, until they start loving the Lord their God with all their heart, soul, and strength, until they start loving their neighbors as they said, until they start teaching their children to love and serve God, things will not get better in this country. Well, anyone who ever met Ma Ruby would know that she truly exhibited those qualities. And although she is gone, the immense impact she had on people here on Harbor Island and way beyond will last for years to come. Julian Reed for ZNS Network News. Kairos, what is it? We introduce it to you coming up in the Bahamas tonight.